Welcome to Dandelion Cottage. I'm Leslie Watkins and today is Marvelous Monday. So I'm getting ready for April and I'm going to be featuring a lot of nature studies and working with watercolor and watercolor pencils in your sketchbooks. So I'm hoping that I can inspire you to get outside and paint the flowers and the birds and the critters and all the things that are out there all waking up and emerging for spring. So today I'm going to do a cute little card. This is based on a stamp set, so this is something anybody can do. You don't need any artistic talent whatsoever, and I'm going to show you how. So let's get started. The stamp set I'm using is called Field Journal, okay, and it's a lovely set. It has these really nice drawings of the chipmunk and the mallard. There is a leaf with a little ladybug on the top of it. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. And then we have these berries, and I'm not sure what kind of berries they are. Maybe viburnum berries, I don't know. And here is a lovely little botanical with some little flowers. And the sentiments read, a, a wonderful person like you makes life even better. A little kindness makes a big difference. And thank you. So this is a really cute set to have. And some of the things I'll, I'll be working with today are the colored pencils and these are watercolor pencils so that you can use them as either a colored pencil or as a water medium and um, and these are two sets so all of the materials that I'm using today will be listed below at the end of the video after I have a chance to type everything up you can come back and, and click on the link to my online store and all of these things are available these, this is composed of two different sets of colored pencils. So there is the basic set, and then I'm also using the add-on set that has some additional colors. And in here, I have a couple of other things that I want to point out to you. So I've got my blender pen, I've got a Stampin' Chalk marker, and I've got a black journal pen, black journaling pen. And that pretty much covers it. I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock, and this has been scored and cut in half and then folded in half. So I have a note card that measures five and a half by four and a quarter with a matching envelope. And then I have some mats here. So I've got this mat, and the color is called Pear Pizzazz, and this one, which is Soft Suede. And I used the rectangle stitch dies to cut these out so that I have this really nice little stitching detail along the edges. And, um, and I used the two largest dies to cut these out with the uh, cut and emboss machine. And if you'd like to learn more about the cut and emboss machine, there, there will also be a link for that below as well. And then I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock, and this measures four and a half by three and a half, and that's going to be where we're going to stamp the image. Now, I have another thing that um, I want to use today. These are the blending brushes, and these are these very versatile brushes. They, it looks like they're made out of foam, but it's actually very, very tiny micro bristles, and I've got three of them that I'll be using today. And the last thing is I have a, a mat, and this is a foam mat covered with paper, 
and I'm going to use this to um, do my blending on. So I've got two inks here. I've got Balmy Blue and Old Olive. And I'm going to make a vertical card this time. So I'm using my blue brush and I'm just going to tap that into my ink pad and then starting on the, on the scrap paper and working in little circular motions I'm bringing that into my card. So the idea here is that you start on the scrap paper and then work your way into the area that you're going to be stamping on. So I just want to get a, a little cool sky tone on the top. And now I'm going to switch to my old olive. Oops. And then I'm going to come in on the bottom with the old olive. So I just get something that looks like that. And now I'm going to take one of the stamps from that set, and this is the one of the botanical. And it has a root design on the bottom of it. I'm not going to stamp the roots, I'm just going to stamp above the roots just like that and then I'm using Sahara sand and I'm going to stamp the chipmunk So I'm going to put him right under that leaf, like so. going to color him in. So I'm just putting a tone over his tail, his leg. I'm staying away from that white stripe, a little bit on his back, down his arm, and again he has a, a white area around his eyes that I'm just going to leave blank. Okay, now I'm going to take a darker color. So let's see. This is the early espresso and I'm just going to put a little bit of shading on him. If you're interested in learning about shading, you may want to get ready for my six week course starting in May of beginning watercolor where I talk quite a bit about shading. And if you'd like to learn more about that, go to my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com and you can subscribe to my newsletter notes. And on the first of the month, which is right around the corner, 
There will be information about all of my upcoming classes, workshops, and, and other news that you may be interested in. That comes out every month on the first of the month, so please subscribe. And, um, and there will be information there about the upcoming beginning watercolor workshop. So I just put a little bit of a, a yellow tone on those flowers. And now I am taking my yellow green here. This is Granny Apple Green. And I'm going into my leaves. And then I'm going to go back into them with the um, old olive and just adding some shadow areas onto my leaves. There we go. Now I want to give a little indication of a ground plane here. So for that, I'm going to go back to my early espresso, the dark brown, and just lightly put a little shadow. under the chipmunk and the plant. All right, so it's just that easy. Now I'm going to take my blender pen and I'm just going to go over the petals of the flowers to blend that yellow that I put on there. And then I'm also going to go into the leaves. And what this does is it helps to soften the marks of the pencil strokes and makes it look a lot more like a watercolor effect. And the blender pens are particularly good for working on paper like this, which is not designed for water media, but you can use the blender pen solution and it works out quite well. And this is a great way to work when you're when you're out, out of doors and you don't have a lot of equipment with you, you don't have your, your water cups, and you just want to do some of these wonderful little nature studies. This is a great way to do that. Now I'm going to go into my chipmunk. I'm using my chalk marker and I'm just going to brighten up his white stripe in the area near his eye, just like that. And now using my black journaling pen, I'm just going to make his eye a little bit brighter, kind of pull out some of these little um, fur strokes around his stripes. I can increase the darkness of the shadow areas and it just helps to just to increase the the contrast between the lights and the darks here. I can add some details like his his little feet, the nut that he's nibbling on. And I can even put some strokes to indicate a little more of that shadow area underneath him. Oops, sorry. There you go.
Okay, so there's our little nature stat sketch. And, um, and I want to add a sentiment. So I think I'm going to go with this one. And this reads, a little kindness makes a big difference. And I'm going to stamp this using the Sahara Sand ink. And I'm just going to put this along the top of my image. Make sure I have it right side up. Okay. And I also want to, I'm, I'm going to, actually, I'm, I'm going to use the um, Sahara Sand since I have it handy. I'm going to use my sponge and I'm just going to go around the edges and just give that a little bit of a, a tone. Also next month, <clears throat> I'm going to have a special workshop on journal making. So if you'd like to learn how to make your own journals, that you can put any kind of paper you like. It could be toned paper. It can be watercolor paper. It can be wa toned watercolor paper. And... Um, and it's, it's a really... I'll, I'll sh at the end of the show today. I'll, I'll show you one of the journals we'll be making. The toned paper. So now what I want to do is I want to get my my mats out. But actually first before I do that I want to I want to stamp the flap of my envelope. So for that I'm going to take my chipmunk and the Sahara Sand ink. And I'm just going to put him like so. Very cute. So there he is on the flap of the envelope. And now, let me get organized here. I've got things all over. I'm going to take my, my stamped image and I'm going to put a little bit of the liquid glue on the back. And this, this glue is archival so it will not get brittle and yellow or hurt your artwork over time. I'm just going to mount that like so. Give that a good burnish with my bone folder so that there's no bumps. That the, the glue is, is well distributed. And then again, the same idea. Now I'm going to Put this on my pear pizzazz mat, and this is a very pretty soft spring green. Okay, 
Okay, make sure that that's nice and straight. There we go. And there is our lovely little nature card featuring this beautiful chipmunk from the Field Journal stamp set. And this is something anybody could do. And if you'd like to learn more about doing this kind of thing, please subscribe to my newsletter, Notes from Dandelion Cottage, at www.dandeliancottagedesign.com, and I will send you all the information about the upcoming workshops I have that will be featuring nature studies and how to create a nature journal. So I just want to show you another card I did earlier. And this is the nature journal that I'll be showing you how to make in next month's workshop. And in it, it has about, um, I forget if it's 10 or 12 pages of these toned papers that you can stamp or sketch on and use the watercolor pencils and get beautiful effects like you see on the cover. And if you wanted to, you could even use an image like this on the cover of your journal if you'd like to. Okay, so I hope that gave you some ideas. I hope to see you in, uh, in the Nature Journal class coming up in April. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will be back on Wednesday for Watercolor Wednesday, and I have a special treat for you of how to make a big, bold, beautiful, splashy, wet and wet painting using inks, and we're going to use that to make butterflies with. So it's going to be a special program. I hope, I hope to see you then. So uh, until then, stay well, stay creative, and I'll see you next time.